So how to check the balance problem or unbalance? So number of columns should be equal to the number of rows. Then we can call it as it is a balance problem. In one row and one column, you have to assign only one zeros. How to find the column reduction? By using this row reduction matrix representation, we can find the column reduction. Hello everyone, I'm Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyashram First Aid College, Mysore. In my last session, I have discussed about assignment problem using Hungarian method. I have discussed each and every step. Please practice all the problems. If you missed my classes, please follow the link below. Today, I will explain another some important problems on Hungarian method. So first problem, previous year question paper problem, I'm explaining now. So here, you have number of jobs and number of machines P, Q, R, S and A, B, C, D. First step in Hungarian method is, first you have to check whether it is a balanced problem or unbalanced problem. So how to check the balanced problem or unbalanced? So number of columns should be equal to the number of rows. Then we can call it as it is a balanced problem. So here I have four number of columns and four number of rows. So it is a balanced problem. So four equals four. It is a square matrix. Now I can proceed. Square matrix. If it is square matrix, so it is a balanced problem. Otherwise you can add dummy row or dummy column. And the next step in assignment method is, so after finding the balanced problem, you can find row reduction. So first step is row reduction. So how to find the row reduction? So row reduction means first take the first row and out of these numbers, which is the least value, least value is 8. So 8 minus 8 is 0. And the next value is 26. 26 minus least value 8. So 26 minus 8 is 18. And the next value is 17. 17 minus 8 means 9. And the next value is 11. 11 minus 8 is 3. And the second row, the least value is 4, right? So least value is 4. So 13 minus 4 is 9. And 28 minus 4 is 24. 4 minus 4, 0. And 26 minus 4 is 22. And third row, in third row, least value is 15. So 38 minus 15, it is 23. And 19 minus 15, 4. And 18 minus 15, 3. 15 minus 15, it is 0. And in the fourth row, the least value is 10. 19 minus 10, 9. 26 minus 10, 16. 24 minus 10, 14. 10 minus 10, 0. So now row reduction has finished. So next step we have column reduction. So by using this row reduction values, matrix value so we can find the column reduction values. Now I will find out column reduction. So first consider the column 1. So in first column the least value is 0. If you are subtracting with 0 you will get the same values. So 0, 9, 23 and 9. In the second row the least value is 4. So 18 minus 4 is 14. 24 minus 4 is 20, 4 minus 4, 0, 16 minus 4 is 12. And in the third column, the least value is 0, 9, 0, 3, 14. And the last column, the least value is 0, we will get the same value, 3, 22, 0 and 0. So next step is, we can assign the job to the right operator. So now I will assign the zero by using row scanning and column scanning method. So now I will use this column reduction values. This is my column reduction matrix values. So first step is row scanning. So first step is row scanning. So how to do the row scanning? So row scanning in first row, 
Consider the first row. If you get one zero, if you get one zero, you can assign that zero. Put a square box around that zero and put a vertical lines. In first row, I have only one zero. I will assign this zero. I have put a square box around that zero and I will put a vertical lines. And if you get two zeros in row, you just skip that row and go to the second row. And in second row, I have again one zero, put a square box around that zero and put a vertical lines. And in the third step, in the third row, I have two zeros. If you get two zeros, just skip that row. And in fourth row, I have only one zero, assign this zero, put a vertical line. So row scanning has finished. So next step, column scanning. So how to do the column scanning? Take this first column. So in first column, all the values are deleted. You can go to the second column. So in second column, how many zeros are there? You have only one zero. You can assign that zero and put a horizontal lines. If it is column, you have to put horizontal line. If it is row, you have to put vertical line. Please don't get confused. It is row scanning and column scanning. So in second row, we got one zero and I have put a horizontal line. In the third row, no zeros and no values. All the values are deleted. In the fourth column also, no zeros. All the values are deleted. So now, have completed the row scanning and column scanning, right? So after this row scanning and column scanning, you have to find the assigned zeros. So how many zeros have assigned here? That means the number of square marked. How many numbers of square you marked here? So number of square marked, number of square mark is equal to number of rows. Number of square mark is equal to number of rows. So how many zeros have assigned here? 1, 2, 3, 4. I have assigned 4 zeros, right? First zero, second, third and fourth. 4 zeros have assigned here. And it should be equal to number of rows. So how many number of rows are there? How many rows are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So is this equal? Yes, it is equal. It's a square matrix. So after this row scanning and column scanning, it should be a square matrix. Then only you can find the assignments and the right operator. So this column is not required because in this step only, I got the value square matrix has come, have assigned four zeros here. So number of rows also four, so it is A equal. Then I will find the assignment. So optimal assignment is Optimal assignment is, so here in first row, first row name is A and in first column I got one zero. So A to P, A to P and in second row I have assigned the right operator in third column. So B and R, B to R. And the third zero is third row, second column, that is C to Q. C to Q. And fourth row, fourth place have assigned the zero, D to yes. D to yes. So this is your assignment. Now you can find the total transportation cost. So total cost. So how to find the total cost? A to P. You just find the virginal value. A to P means it is 8. Plus B to R. B to R means it is 4. Plus C to Q. C to Q means it is 19. Plus D to S. D to S means virginal value is 10. Now add all the values, you will get the total cost. So 10 plus 19, 29, 29 plus 4, it is 33, 33 plus 8, it is 41. 41 rupees is your total cost. 
So this is your assignment problem by using Hungarian method. And the next, this is also a question paper problem. So now I have number of rows and columns. So first you have to check whether it is a balanced or not. It is balanced because number of columns is equal to number of rows. We have four columns and we have four rows. So it is a square matrix. You can proceed now. So now take this first row. In first row, the least value is 2. So subtract this least value with the other values. So 2 minus 2 is 0. 2 minus 3 and 4 minus 2 is 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. And in the second row, the least value is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. 5 minus 4 1. And 6 minus 4 is 2. 7 minus 4 is 3. In the third row, the least value is 7. 7 minus 7 is 0. 7 and 8 difference is 1. 9 minus 7. Again, 8 minus 7. And in the fourth row, the least value is 3. So, 3 minus 3, 0. 5 minus 3, 2. 8 minus 3, 5. 4 minus 3, 1. So, now row reduction has completed. And the next step is column reduction. So, how to find the column reduction? By using this row reduction matrix representation, we can find the column reduction. So here, take this first column, the least value is 0 only. So all the column values also 0. In the second column, the least value is 1. 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 2 minus 1. In the third column, the least value is 2. 2 minus 2, 2 minus 2, 2 minus 2 and 5 minus 2 is 3. And in the fourth column, the least value is 1. 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1. 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1. So now column reduction also finished. So now the next step is row scanning. So how to do the row scanning here? Row scanning. So in first row, how many zeros are there? We have three zeros. So I can't assign the zero. You can skip the row. And in second row, again, I have three zero. In third row also, I have four zero. In fourth row also, I have two zero. I can't assign. So in row scanning, I didn't assign any zeros. So next I will go for column scanning. In first column, I have four zeros. Skip that column. In second column, I have three zeros. Third column, I have three zero. In fourth column, I have two zero. So I can't assign any zero by using row scanning and column scanning method. So what is the next step? So how to assign a zero now? So after this row scanning and column scanning, if you didn't assign the zeros means you can go for diagonal selection. So here I will assign the first zero here. If you want you can assign other zeros also. So this zeros will get cancelled in rows and column. So now the next zero I will assign to this place and I can cancel this second zero. And in the third column I will assign this zero. And I can cancel this entire column also and in row also. And in fourth column and fourth row, I will assign this zeros. So remaining zeros are cancelled already. So now you can cross verify whether it is a square matrix or not. So 1, 2, 3, 4. I have assigned 4 zeros. So number of square marked. Number of square marked. So, number of square mark is equal to number of rows. Number of square mark is equal to number of rows. So, I have assigned four zeros. So, number of rows also four. So, four equals to four. So, it is a square matrix. This is your first solution. If you want to assign other zeros also, you can assign. I will show that also. 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 3, 0. Now, I have assigned this 0 in a first solution. So, this is the first alternatives and this is second alternatives. I have assigned this 0. Now, I will assign this 0. So, 
this will get cancel and this column rows will get cancel and diagonal selection means I can assign this zero will get cancel and now I will assign this zero will get cancel in the fourth row I have only one zero I have assigned this zero so you can go for diagonal selection also so final assignment is so we can do for two alternatives if you want you can go for two alternatives first alternative and second alternative so assignment is a to p and b to q c to r d to yes so what is the virginal value a to p a to p means it is 2 plus total cost is equal to 2 plus and next assignment is b to q b to q is 5 plus c to r c to r is 9 plus d to s d to s is 4 add all the values 7 plus 9 it is 16 plus 4 20 rupees so this is your total cost so this is your assignment problem using hungarian method so i have explained so many problems please practice all the problems easily you can score on this topic also it is very simple concept in my next session i will come with a new in my next session i will discuss some more problems on assignment method in my next session i will discuss another important problems on hungarian problem in my next session i will discuss another important problems on hungarian method thank you